Hey internet, this is just going to be a really quick video showing you the wonders of source code control. So, this will serve a couple of purposes. The first would be to introduce you to the SourceForge page for the Java chess program I've been making a video series on. You can find it at this link and I'll put the link in the description as well. But uh, I just made the program I mean, I just made the SourceForge project the other day because I, I have two different computers and I use both of them to program and I was having trouble keeping my project synced up. I was using Dropbox, but it, it just wasn't working well. So I decided to sort of make myself a little more legit, make a SourceForge account and get a project up. So as you can see, no description yet. I haven't, I haven't filled in a lot of the other stuff, but you can go over to files and here we go, you can download Tyrannus 1.0.1 and it's wrapped up in a tarball. And here's the weird part, SourceForge is thinking that the latest version is readme.txt. So it had, the latest version was of course this when I only had one file up there. So then I, it said you should probably upload a readme, so I did and now it's calling readme the latest version. So I don't know, they should probably work on their, their system. But anyhow, you can actually browse over to code, uh, look through my commits, and actually the, the source code of the project is completely public, so you have to drill down a while. Click on source, Tyrannus, trunk Tyrannus, source, Tyrannus. Anyway, act, all of the classes I've been going over, so um, the coolest class is the board class. You can actually just click on, anyone can do this. See, I'm not even logged in right now. And you can look at all the code, follow along yourself, copy it. So that's cool. Anyway, so this version that's on SourceForge, I, I worked on a lot this afternoon on my computer and I added some cool features. Um, some One thing I did, I'm going to show you the, the before version. This version is not updated with what I did today. So if I run it, you'll be able to see the things that are not and then I will update and you'll be able to see the changes I made today as well as the magic of source code control so I'll hit play and wait for it to load okay so right now if I pin this pawn to the king and try to move the pawn it still highlights the move is green even though it is not technically a legal move likewise if I try to castle kingside it does not highlight this move even though it is legal so there's some serious discrepancies going on so I'll exit out of that click up here on team and the IDE and run checkout so what this will do is it's going to get get the newest version from the from SourceForge so I just enter in the stuff, hit next, and it connect to the repo and pull down the project, which is really, really cool. Specify the folders to check out. Okay, so let's make sure checking out trunk. Yeah, let's actually check out not the whole trunk. Let's check out trunk slash Tyrannus. That's all we want. As you can see, it's connected. It can browse the version that's on the website. Let's just check out trunk slash Tyrannus. Uh, no. No. I don't know what that does. Finish. So it's going to pull the most recent code from the thing you do, the cloud, the internet. So yes, I'll open that most recent one. And hmm, interesting. It gave me a completely new project. That's it. Let's close this one. And let's go ahead. Subversion. Okay, let's go ahead and run our most recent version. Freshly, fresh off the cloud. Boom, ba da boom. What's this warning? Board.java uses unchecked or unsafe operations? That's news to me. Can I get a warning? 
in the compiler before you go giving me something like that? I'm not seeing any warnings even over here they would show up. Anyhow, it's running and I just want to show you now if I try to click to make an illegal move this pawn is not highlighted. Why? Because it's not legal. That is fantastic. Likewise, let's try to castle. Ah, it's highlighting that square. So this, this video served two purposes. One, three purposes, show you the SourceForge page. Two, to show you the wonders of source code control. And three, to show you the positive changes I made to the program today. Thanks for watching. Um, and thanks for watching.